everyone, welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I am bringing you a slightly different video than what you usually see on my channel. Many of you already know that I am a knitter, but for those of you who may be new to my channel, um, I did host some yarny videos or yarny content on this channel as well. You can still find um, some of those videos in a playlist on my channel um, titled Yarny Updates, but I basically share uh, the things that I've knitted on during the month and my finished projects and stuff like that. Basically like a knitting podcast, if you will. Um, I had recently moved them all over to their own channel. So if you are into that type of thing, definitely uh, check out that channel for more yarny goodness. But I kind of stopped sharing my yarny stuff on this channel just because I kind of felt like the audience was a little bit different. That being said, this particular project is book related. And so I wanted to share it on this channel as well. So what you'll see um, following this introductory clip is a clip from my most recent Yarny update. I'm talking about this project, which is the Clipped Crows Fly Again sweater. This is my Haikyuu inspired sweater, Haikyuu being the volleyball manga that is written by Haruichi Furudate. And it's a series that I have just been really enjoying. At the time that I had come up with the idea for this sweater, three seasons had been out. Therefore, three seasons worth of teams is showcased um, within this sweater. And yeah, so I'll flip over to my inspiration and all of that talk about this project shortly and I'll come back at the end to wrap up this video. So the next finished item I'd like to share with you is my Clipped Crows Fly Again sweater. You see me working on this for a little bit. This is my Haikyuu inspired sweater inspired by the anime and the manga by Haruichi Furudate, and I am very happy with it. The main um, pattern body of this uh, sweater is done from the Alicia pattern by Kim Barnett, and I got the idea to do the multicolor sleeves um, from the sock arms pattern by Stephanie Lotvin. And so we have been massive fans of the series Haikyuu for a while and shortly after my birthday a few years ago I should rewind on my birthday a few years ago I had gone to see the compilation movie of the third season of Haikyuu at the theater which was a super fun experience there were tons of fans there everybody cheering for the teams and everybody wearing all their gear and stuff and I didn't have any gear to wear. Um, I don't really wear much fan stuff anymore. I used to um, when I was younger and my daughter definitely does but I, I, I don't wear a lot of fan gear. Um, I got a little bit jealous seeing everybody wearing all their um, fan merchandise fan merchandise and so I had thought about what I could do um, to like make some fan gear um, that I wouldn't feel out of place wearing I guess you could say and so I thought well you're a maker you can make something and so I thought about it and I had seen um, the sock arm sweater being presented on, I believe it was the Knit Girls podcast, and she was doing some sock arm sweaters for her nieces. And that sweater uses some self-striping um, yarn to do the sleeves. So I thought, that's an idea. But that particular pattern is plain in the body. And I know that Knitting plain is something that I'm going to get bored with really fast. 
So I looked for a stitch pattern on a sweater that I thought would keep my interest and still look um, really great. And I came across this one in my uh, Ravelry library. When I had um, gotten it, it was a free pattern. It is no longer free, but it's the Alicia sweater by Kim Barnett. So as you can see, it features a V-neck and it also has this um, broken rib pattern, um, kind of in a panel coming down the front. And so I had never done broken rib before, so that was new for me. It's also um, the same in the back and I'm not sure if I can, let me turn this around. So it's also the same in the back, but there's no V, it's just a scoop kind of in the back. And so the sleeves kind of look like this. And so it has all of the teams that Karasuno plays from season one through season three. And so I will start from the bottom here. This is um, Karasuno, so orange and black. <laughs> I will... Um, just briefly mentioned that my daughter and I were having a little bit of a discussion about what colors to use for Karasuno because in the anime, um, Karasuno's jerseys actually look navy blue and orange, um, but in the manga it's black. So we decided to go with black. So black and orange for Karasuno and then these two um, are Aobachosai followed by Nekoma. Tokonami, Date Kyogyo, Fukurodani, and you'll notice that Fukurodani's stripes are a little bit different from everybody else's. And that's just because going up, I had so much more um, yellows that I wanted to make Fukurodani just a little bit different. Besides the fact I really enjoy Bokuto. And so Fukurodani has a little microstripe of black in between their gold and white. And then there's Ogi Minami, and then, oh. So then let's switch sides for a little bit, so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So we were um, at Fukurodani, and then Ogi Minami, Kakugawa, Josenji, Wakutani Minami, and of course, um, Shiratorizawa up here. Now Shiratorizawa is not, uh, doesn't have as large stripes, but that's just because of the way that I had gone ahead and done the sleeves. I ended up putting in some um, set-in sleeves instead of doing the sleeve and then seaming it in. If I had done that, I think you would have a longer section of uh, Shiratori Zawa, but um, I don't like to seam stuff. And so <laughs> besides the fact that I'm not really great at it and because this is something that I wanted to wear proudly, um, especially among um, other fans, I didn't want it to be something that I was uncomfortable with or would have to think, okay, people are looking at my bad <laughs> seeming job, or I'm not really happy with how this works and trying to cover it up. I just wanted something that I knew I'd be 100% happy with, and I am. So these are all different um, yarns. This is probably one of the most expensive projects I've done so far, just because I had to purchase all of the yarn. None of this yarn is yarn that I had in stash. And so um, each color is new yarn. I ended up with three skeins of this gray, um, which is Cascade Heritage. And I believe the color is just gray. And so within um, the arm, there is some um, Nitpicks, stroll fingering, um, some ice yarns, 
this is a Lolo Did It um, mini skein. And there's a lot more Cascade Heritage and more Lolo Did It. And there's one stripe of West Yorkshire spinners. Um, but it was a chore trying to find all of these colors that I thought would be pretty close um, to the team colors. And, you know, buying yarn off of a computer screen isn't always, you're not always going to get what you think. Um, cause the colors are, are different. It's just the way photos, uh, work. And so I'm very happy with the colors that I received and the way that it looks. Um, one other note here is that I did make the cuff gray and that is not because the body of the sweater is gray. It's because in the second season, I believe, of Haikyuu, Hinata introduces himself as being from the concrete. And I thought, okay, so since we're going to be working our way up to the top, having the cuff be gray would be perfect because it's like they're coming from the concrete. Originally, I was going to have it so that Karasuno was up here at the shoulder. And the more I thought about it, and the more I thought about what I named the sweater, since it's the Clipped Crow's Fly Again, I wanted it to reflect them rising to the top. And so that's why Karasuno is down by the wrist and Shiratorizawa is up by the shoulder. So them playing all of these teams getting to the top you know, kind of driving um, their way to get to this game right here. And I came up with this idea way before um, we even knew that a fourth season was coming. Um, but I'm glad I decided to go with the seasons that I had decided on because the number of stripes in the sleeve is perfect. I had no problems trying to figure out how long each stripe should be. And it just so happened to work out that it was the perfect number of stitches for the length of my arm. So that was great. I am very happy with this project. And yeah, I don't do a lot of, um, fandom based projects, I guess you'd call them, but I really should do more. I'm just, this is the first time that something has really inspired me and I, it had a lot to do with being among other fans watching the same thing. Um, the vibe is just different when you're with other fans and you kind of feed off of their reaction on things and though I had seen the third season about three times before I went ahead and saw that anime compilation film in the theater it was just different it was more exciting and and it was thanks to that that it inspired me to create this project so yeah I'm very happy with that and I'm very happy to have it off the needles, of course. It's way too hot to wear it right now, <laughs> but I will be excited to wear it um, later this year. So I hope you enjoyed that little clip and um, hearing me talk about this project and how I got inspired to do it. Um, I'm not an artist, and so I don't have the ability to create fan art like a lot of people do but this is kind of my way of creating a some fan art if you will a fan appreciation project um, something that I can proudly wear um, to show my appreciation of the series and even if people don't know 
immediately off the bat just by looking at me wearing this sweater um, what it's about or the meaning behind it that's okay because I know what it's about I know the meaning behind it and it's something that I'm very proud of so I hope that you enjoyed that let me know if you've done any uh, fan artwork or any fan based projects I'd love to know about them I don't do very much bookish related um, knitting projects at all um, but this one is one that I'm very proud of and I'm glad that I have completed it and it's ready to wear um, when the temperatures cool down again and I'm proud to have completed this project so yeah again let me know um, if you've done any fan based projects I'd love to hear about them I hope you are all doing great I hope you're all safe and healthy and until next time take care and see me always bye